Hello, Horde, and welcome to Attack of the B Team with John. Today, I decided that the herbology stuff, the next herbology stuff, was a bit too complex um, for a starter thing. Uh, so I thought I'd carry on with the basics. Okay, so the next thing that you need to uh, make in witchery. Uh, so if you didn't watch my previous video, um, I'm going to start off with the basics of witchery in this mod pack because witchery is one of the main mods in it. Um, so I'm going to carry on with the basics of witchery. Um, so the next thing is an altar. Um, now an altar um, is basically... Uh, you need six altar cube, uh, six altar blocks, um, and you get three from this recipe. So you need breath of the goddess, and you need um, uh, exhale of the horned one to make this recipe, as well as a water bottle, two rowan wood, and stone bricks. If you don't know how to get these, um, remember, uh, either if you haven't watched the other episode, you get it from um, cutting down rowan saplings. Uh, so I'm not going to go through it all again. Uh, if you're really struggling, watch the other uh, episode just to understand what this is. So I'll show you how to make this. And actually, I'll just remind people how to get this. So to get the exhale of the horned one. So it's a good thing I actually put this like chest together, actually. Uh, to get the exhale of the horned one, you need to um, put oak wood saplings into your oven. And to get your... Breath of the Goddess, you need to put um, Birchwood saplings into the oven. Um, to get your Rowan logs, you need to obviously grow a Rowan tree, uh, Rowan tree from mutating sapl uh, mutating like uh, normal grass, and then growing it, and then cutting it down, obviously. But yeah, so put your water bottle there. If you don't know how to make a water bottle, really, I can't explain too much. I mean. That's just like basic Minecraft. Uh, it's just literally a bucket made out of glass and then you just use it in like uh, a pond or some sort of water source. So yeah, this is how you make your free, this is how you make free altar pieces. You get stone brick. Oh, oh what the hell just happened there? Uh, you get stone brick, which is obviously stone in like a four by four. What, you put water at the top, middle. Um, is this actually gonna work? Yeah, uh, so you put Stone brick uh, to the left and right of the two bottom like slots. Did you get what I mean? Um, so rowan wood in the middle, like the middle center. Uh, rowan wood at the bottom center. Uh, water bottle in the top center. To the left and right of the rowan wood, put stone brick, and then to the left of the water, put exhale of the horn one, and to the right of the water, put breath of the goddess. Um, oh, why do I keep shift clicking it out? So that makes you three alt pieces. Then you need to do that recipe twice to get six alt pieces. Now you have an altar. I explain what an altar is. An altar is like the witchery power source. So pl you place it down like this. So it's like a structural build. Lots of which majority of the witchery mod is structure things. So um, that's why I haven't gone into it too much, like to do with the other like plants and herbology because it is quite complex um like structures and stuff to put together and to understand so this is the first structure that i'm going to show you place your six altar pieces like this and it become an altar the altar is like the power source of witchery uh, it'll fill up and you need a certain amount of altar power to do certain things anything um that needs this altar needs to be 14 to 16 blocks away so 14 blocks away so one two three four so you just count um you stick i'm going to show you how to upgrade this altar in another episode um because I, I think that's also a bit um past the basics and but yeah that's all you need your altar for it's just there for now um your altar i'll explain later on um in a different episode but as long as you make your altar um you can add to it later that's what i'm trying to say so what this episode is going to be about, like I said, is distillery. First, make your book of distillery, distillation. I think it is. Um, so you need belladonna flower, um, breath of goddess, which is birch wood, I think. Um, saplings cooked in the oven. Uh, you need ink sac, flower, a feather, and a book. So I'll show you how to make this. So yeah, this is the book. 
your third book in your collection of books. Like we're saying um, in, another, in the other episode, there are five books and you can't really complete the books in a way. You just have to you sh go keep referring back to them when you're struggling. Uh, so Belladonna Flower at the top, um, Breath of the Goddess uh, at the bottom, uh, Inks actually to the uh, left, Feather to the right, Book in the middle, make sure. Uh, Witchery Distilleration book. So your Witchery Distilleration book will explain everything you need to do with distillery. Woo! Um, so now you know how to use a distillery, you need to actually make a distillery. Okay, so the distillery requires... is. Uh, a stone, uh, is it something stone? I forgot what it is now, an arc stone or something. All I know is that you need a whiff, uh, a whiff of magic, a diamond, and a lava bucket. So I'll show you how to make this. I'm sorry I forgot the name. Some of the names are really hard to pronounce and I, I just forget them. So put lava booklet, bucket at the bottom, your diamond in the middle, and your whiff of magic uh, at the top makes your uh, is it a tune stone? A tune stone. So your tune stone is one of the things that you need for the distillery. So to make the distillery, you need two clay jars, um, four iron ingots, and gold. So I'll show you how to make this. Clay jars, obviously, are four clay in like an upside down tea, cooked. Okay. Um, so yeah, four. There you go. Two and then one. So your attune stone in the bottom middle. Go to the left of it. Go to the right. Um, the middle is all iron. Iron in the top center and then in the top two corners. Put a clay jar. Make your distillery. Okay. Is there anything else? I didn't know. Um, sorry about that. So now you have your distillery. Um, you pretty much. This is. You've got all the basic parts that you need for your distillery. Now. So you have your distillery. What, what do you have to do now? So this is what you have to do. Um, I'll get these pots out of here because I don't think they're still working. Uh, you put clay jars... Oops, wrong one. You put clay jars in the bottom. And that's all you need to do for now. So then you would look in your distillation book. And you just go through what you need. It's simple as that. It tells you exactly what you need to put in. So you'd put fall fume in, quick lime, and one clay jar to get them three things. Some things you need like six clay jars, others you need three. So just make sure that you look at what you re uh, required. Um, so I'm going to show you how to make every f uh, all the things that are in these books, uh, just to make it a bit more easy for you. So the first thing that you need to do is get some ash wood from burning saplings. Uh, once you have your ash wood, you basically stick it in your inventory and it becomes quicklime. Which basically means stick it in crafting and turn it into quicklime. So that is how you make quicklime. Now the first thing it tells you to make, I don't know why there's an explosion. Why was the explosion? Never mind. Uh, uh, the first thing you're going to make is... Uh, gypsum. Oil of vit vitriol. Vitriol. And a slime ball. So that's what the first things you're going to make. So you put your foul fume, which you get from putting either meat, um, wood, uh, like logs, or jungle saplings into your oven, and it be eventually it will become foul fume. And then put your quick lime and foul fume in here, and it will start to distill, distillerate, distillerate. What is it? I don't, I don't know the actual cooking name for distillation. Uh, distill. That's it. Distill. Uh, distill. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, English is not a strong spot, um, like strong part, point, whatever you want to say. Even though I am English, surprisingly. You wouldn't have spot that, but yeah. So this is what you get. You will get from this three things. You will get gypsum, which is used in another recipe, I don't know what yet. Oil of virtual, which you need now, and uh, slime balls. Now, oh, clay jars, that's what I need to put in it. I know I put them somewhere. Uh, clay jar, uh, clay jars. Um, why have I got all this random stuff in here? Okay. 
sorry about all this. I've just got like, random like junk everywhere. So here we go. The next thing you're going to make is um, the next thing in the book. So just follow the book, and it's that easy. Breath of you need breath of goddess and lapis lazuli and three um, jars to make tear of goddess, wisp of magic, foul fume, and slime balls. Um, so here we go. Put the breath of goddess, which you get from cooking birchwood saplings. Uh, in the oven, and eventually it becomes that. And lapis lazuli, uh, lazuli is it lazuli? A lazuli? It says I never actually know. I think it's lazuli actually. Um, yet from mining. So hopefully you're not getting too confused. Please like say in the description if you're getting too confused. Uh, description in the like comments, and I'll try and. Uh, clarify maybe a bit better um, but yeah all you gotta do is basically stick the ingredients it tells you in the book uh, to make the next ones uh, the only reason why I'm showing you this is because um, some ingredients are more important than others in this stage in basicness in the basic witchery like uh, what you just cook then is the gypsum isn't important yet the slime is just slime ball um, so the oil of virtue like quick lime uh, is important um, to start off, but then um, obviously you just keep going through them all. So now, what's the next rare thing you've got is this the Tear of Goddess. Tear of Goddess is using different recipes. Uh, so, this is the reason why I'm showing you this is because the distillation gets you more jars, um, so diff more advanced um, fumes. So, like I was saying before. Uh, I can't even remember when I said this, so uh, hopefully you can remember. Um, the oven is pretty easy. The oven only makes three thing, uh, seven things. So once you know the seven things off by heart, it's pretty simple, straightforward. But then you have to dis uh, distill stuff and cook stuff to make uh, to make more advanced like cocktails. Uh, so yeah, these are what you got from that. So foul fume is basic stuff. Uh, so is Wisp of Magic, but Tear of Goddess isn't. So you use your oil, so your oil was the other rare one, and now it's a Tear, which is the other rare one. Now the next one is the Diamond Vapor. Now Diamond Vapor is like a rare, like, a material, like, um, a rare, what is it now? Fume, that's it. Fume, that's what I'm trying to get at. So you'd put your, no, wrong one. You'd put the oil of virtue, which you made in your first distillation, and you put a diamond, which makes the next rare um, liquid or what, gas, whatever it is. And you just keep following this like procedure. You'd stick stuff in, and you just all this is in your book. So your next one, obviously, is your diamond vapor. Uh, is to make your diamond vapor. So you'd need oil of virtue, like it says, diamond, three clay jars, make these three. So you just keep going through them all. Next one is um, diamond vapor in a gas tier. Now, gas tiers are quite easy to obtain now because obviously you can fly. So it's not di very difficult. Um, I'm just looking for some food because I'm not going to starve to death too. Um, so... Uh, gas tiers are very, uh, are very easy to obtain because you just got to fly at a gas with a diamond sword, two wax, and it's dead. Whereas them uh, elder saplings, elder saplings, uh, the ent um, like sapling mobs are like insanely strong and take about twenty. So now that it's all cooked. You've got your diamond vapor, yay! So your diamond vapor is your next cool thing that you made so with your gas tier and your diamond vapor you can now make um, the next thing in your book which is um, refined evil so refined evil um, full, uh, obviously the other three are basic um, what you call it um, fumes so aren't as rare do I have any refined evil in here? I don't actually have any refined evil, so I don't even think I did this recipe earlier on. Now, uh, I'll show you Ender Pearl and Blaze Pals. 
but the rest, the last one, uh, so I've skipped to the end, because this is going to take forever anyway. Because, like I was saying before, you can't go through each of, of the books, because it's not easy to obtain some of these. A demon heart is something you get from a ritual, like a circle ritual thing. The circle rituals are so complex that I haven't actually worked out in my head how to do it yet, but I will and show you how to do the basics of it, and then, like I've been doing with these. Um, the reason why I'm showing you the basics is because this mod is really, really cool. It's just very daunting to look at from any other angle. Meaning, if you try and like research this, like you might uh, go on the internet and uh, someone might tell you it's very daunting because there's so much. So you just got to try and remember the basics, know the basics, and have a starting ground in some of the things. So this is taking forever to distill for some weird reason. Uh, but when it does, I'll show you the final two recipes and the last one obviously I can't show you because it's too hard um, Is there anything I forgot in the other ones? So uh, whilst that's still in, I can explain a bit more of the other books um, Herbology, okay now in a next in another episode. I'm going to explain the other um, Herbs like wild bramble, ender bramble, void bramble, um, graspers, uh, critter snares, blood roses, and yeah. So one, wait, one, two, three, four, five. Now, like before, uh, I'll show you how to do them in another episode because they're like complex structures of plants that you have to put together. But I'll show you, and it should become a bit easier. So this should have done now. And this is refined evil. I haven't actually got any of this. Um, so this is quite cool for me. Um, and you've got your obviously your basic fumes again, which you can make in your oven, so they're not very rare. Uh, now, this is how you make ender dew. I don't even know what this is for yet. Uh, the other things I know what's for, basically, because I know um, later on you use diamond vapor. Um, I think it's to make some sort of rare, like, witch's armor. I think. Um... Oh, is that? No, I think that's Recon with Fortune, actually. So, I'm wrong. I, think, I can't remember, actually. Sorry. Uh, I think it's something to do with the kettle, which is another thing in Witchery. So, Witchery had, adds a lot, um, which is the reason why it's dotting. There's like literally like pages and pages of Witchery uh, just put in these books, let alone not the things that are in this book. But, yeah, this is Ender Dew. So, I've just got loads and loads of Ender Dew. Got five ender dew, um, which uh, I show you how to use, which I show you what to use uh, in a later episode. And now finally, you put uh, blaze powder and gunpowder in here, and you will get. I don't even know what you get. Um, it's probably something I should have found out. Um, you get glowstone dust and reek of myth fortune. So this is an easy way to get glowstone dust, but it's not really anything that cool. So these are these are other ways of getting the basic like fumes. If you're struggling with saplings, oh my god, why did I, why did I do that? And um, because some saplings, like the basic ones, like um, especially spruce and birch wood um, plants, don't drop a lot of saplings. Oak do, and the magic ones drop hundreds of saplings each time you like harvest one. Um, but the others don't, unfortunately. So this is probably another way of getting them um, fumes. So yeah, that's it for this episode, really. Um, what you need to try and remember from this one is, obviously, how to get these rare different oils um, and stuff. If you get stuck, always refer to your books. Um, the books aren't always as straightforward as you think. Especially the herbology one, it's very basic. It just tells you what the plants are and not actually how to get them. Um, but I'll show you how to do that in the next episode. Um, but yeah... Thanks for watching. Hopefully this episode has helped you with the majority of distil uh, distillery and showed you how to get um, all the different recipes in distillery apart from obviously the last one, which you need a demon hat for. But eventually I'll show you how to do that one later, later on, because that'd be crazy hard stuff. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Hit like and favourite if you enjoyed this series and you're enjoying uh, go me going through like all this witchery stuff and all this magic stuff. Uh, hit like and favourite. Uh, said that one. Uh, hit subscribe, sorry if you uh, want to see more content from me, but yeah, thanks for watching, bye!